So good afternoon, everyone. So let us go ahead with this session, strip to screen and uh, process of developing our digital content with a special reference to script writing. So how to write scripts for the uh, specific Many got muted. Yes, so uh, while developing any educational media program, because we are writing for educational programs, so we need to take in, into consideration the following, which you can see on the screen. Learning theories, learning objectives, individual differences, which are always there in the class. And uh, they need to uh, adhere to or stick to certain objectives, which are learning ob objective. We just can't go... Uh, hey, why for generic, uh, as we do in case of generic program, we have a storyline, we have a theme, but for educational program, we need to have well-crafted learning objectives or learning outcome, uh, uh, outcomes around which a script need to be <clears throat> developed. So next slide, please. So uh, here is the developmental process. What is the developmental process? Uh, so these are uh, some of the steps in script development and production. So first of all, we need to know our audience for what label we are developing the uh, script. Then we need to select the theme and uh, topic on which media intervention is required. Then only we will develop a script and digital content for uh, any topic. Then development of uh, concept briefs is essential because um, many uh, topics in uh, our uh, education system, uh, they run across classes. Many concepts run across classes. So we need to select our audience as has been mentioned at the first point and uh, how in depth we need to go into that concept can be decided by program briefs. So until and unless we develop the uh, briefs, we cannot just um, uh, tie uh, the uh, uh, script or uh, program accordingly. So we need to have those uh, uh, briefs also so that uh, we organize our content as per the audience and as per the selected theme. Then we need to research on the subject, how in depth we need to go as per the briefs and then organize the content, sequence the content, go. Uh, and then uh, we uh, have to select the presentation format. There are a number of presentation formats which we um, have for educational media, like we have panel discussions, we have animation, we have video, we have audio. Some of the formats, forms of e format or forms of e-content we discussed in the previous session. If we want an animation, if we want uh, an audio, if we want a video lecture, if we want a product uh, panel discussion. So that kind of project, the presentation format need to uh, be uh, decided upon so that the script is written accordingly. If we are writing a documentary, the script should be such that it suits to the documentary format. Then uh, devices of holding children's attention. So if we are dealing with very young children, we need to uh, just know what uh, attracts them, what uh, kind of uh, presentation format and the uh, inputs there attracts children. Like children are attracted by songs, riddles, music, sound effects, fun, humor. And there should be pauses and rest in between so that we don't go very uh, fast and uh, children's attention is also sustained. 
then it should be interactive. The program should be interactive. It should not go a one way, two way interaction is though not possible in video programs or certain kind of presentations. But if uh, uh, we, uh, uh, we select the language, in a way that it gives um, the uh, way it gives way to uh, interactivity so such language can be used uh, like uh, that we are interacting with our audience then we also need to involve children wherever possible so that children can relate to the program which is really meant for them Elements of a good script. So here are some of the elements of good scripts we can, you can see on the uh, right hand side. So it should have an attractive start. Abrupt starting should not be there. We should uh, just uh, keep hold on our audience and for that we need to have an attractive start. Then clarity of concept. The concepts we are dealing with should be clearly explained in the script uh, so that children understand it better. Then objective-based content. The content should be objective-based. There should be objective uh, properly uh, written so that content should be organized as per the objectives of the uh, program. Then known to unknown approach should be adopted so that uh, children are not just lost in the concept we are dealing with. They know something and then we are capitalizing on what they know and then we uh, approach to uh, towards unknown. Then interactive, I have already mentioned that the language of the script or program uh, should be such that uh, it uh, looks like we are interacting with our audience. Then language should be simple. From one concept to another concept, the transition should be smooth. It should not uh, be uh, disjointed, but uh, it should be linked. The everything mentioned should be linked. Then com component of humor and fun should also be there in a program so that uh, we keep our audience engaged with the kind of um, interaction we are doing with them and uh, then reinforcement with variety of linkages we need to reinforce learning with a variety of day, uh, ways like uh, after every uh, sub concept or uh, dealing with a few sub concept we should reinforce learning uh, recap should be done or uh, at the end of a program we should uh, have the recapitulation so that we draw our audience's attention uh, to what we learned during the course of the uh, program. Uh, and if we are uh, writing scripts for a series, then second episode of the series, uh, we can start with what we learned in the previous program so that those linkages can be uh, drawn. Then close down of the script should also be very smooth uh, so that it is not abrupt and we, uh, we uh, just leave it smooth. We can recap at the end of it. We can leave some questions at the end of it so that the learning should further continue on the same topic. Next slide. Then uh, development of a storyboard. What is a storyboard? So a storyboard is a graphic representation of how your video will unfold uh, shot by shot or scene by scene. So scene by scene description is given in the uh, storyboard. Uh, we can have a graphical storyboard and sometimes we can also have a storyboard uh, which is not graphical, but uh, it, it can be script come storyboard where description of every scene is given, where we want close up, where we want long shot, where we want uh, mid shot. So all such details should be uh, there. And we can also use a template for a storyboarding if we are graphically uh, creating the uh, storyboard. Next slide.
yes so uh, there are uh, storyboards for audio programs and for video programs as well so when we are uh, developing storyboard for uh, audio program so we should uh, realize that in uh, the audio program we are not writing for the eyes we are writing for the ears so how an appropriate ambience can be built through audio should be taken into consideration so we should use sound effects in a manner that it creates an ambience of the situation uh, where the particular audio is located. Uh, if uh, the program is situated in a scenario which is oh, Manipur, Meghalaya or Assam, so we should select such music which gives us feel of the ambience of that particular location if we are locating our program in a southern indian context then music should uh, be such that it gives us feel of that particular area if we are writing for a hilly region to so hilly music uh, gives us feel of the uh, hilly area so we should select such music and ambience for that so that should be indicated in the storyboard and uh, also the uh, sound effects in between uh, shall also be mentioned wherever uh, such sound effects are uh, required. So what is the need of a storyboard? You might have understood by the explanation in the previous slide also, but uh, it is the best way to share the vision of the uh, script writer and it makes production easier because the production knows where uh, he or she need to use which type of shots. Then it saves uh, time as well. So time is saved. Then use the sketch it method. We can also use the sketch it method by sketching the graphics on the uh, template. Or we can go with a rapid template by mentioning text also. We can also use collaborative tools if we are uh, preparing it in collaboration with the producer. Then what all we uh, need? We need to uh, have the source of moving and still images. If we are, or, uh, we are using moving... Uh, uh, images for movies or uh, the uh, video footage, we need to know where we need to uh, record it or shoot it. And if we are also using some still images, we should uh, procure them from the right source, as you might have learned in the previous session, which sites to be uh, seen for the um, free and open source content, free and open source images. Then we need to import all those media, be it uh, the video footage or still images into our PC if we are uh, making uh, the program on our own uh, using some uh, movie making software. Then we need to have software to optimize <laughs> each clip and uh, string the clips together. Then we need to export the resulting manuscripts or resulting program uh, on the system so that we can watch it, the entire piece. Next. So here uh, are uh, some examples of different camera shots. Uh, so you need to write, though you, uh, you, you are not required to... Uh, learn the recording of such shots, shooting of such shots, because we are focusing here on script development, but understanding of short uh, always help you write the specific shots which you uh, need in your script. So, uh, 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 so uh, you can see here the examples of wide shots long shots and mid shot. So here uh, you can see a uh, 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 long shot here because it is covering the entire uh, stadium. 
which is shown in this uh, image, image one, then uh, in the long shot, uh, you can uh, see uh, the <laughs> two football players who are playing. So uh, they, they can, uh, you can uh, see the audience in the background and the players in the uh, uh, focus, then mid shot or medium shot. Uh, it can be easily recognizable and ident uh, we, we can identify it. So girl raising her hand is a mid shot that is shown here. Next slide. So here are different types of close up. So after uh, the presentation, I will be actually showing you uh, a script and a video program and animation based on the script so that you recognize all these shots which are given here in the uh, animation that I will be showing you. So here you can see a medium close-up, close-up, big close-up, extreme close-up. So can you identify uh, the uh, different close-ups? These four close-up associate with the pictures which are given. You can write in the uh, chat box which one is medium close-up, which one is close-up, which one is big close-up, and which one is extreme close-up. Are you chat me? Responses, please give your responses in the chat box. Last one is extreme closer. Yes, right. Extreme. Girl thinking. Yes, medium closer. Okay. Baby crying is extreme. Yes, someone is writing it right. God warning. No, extreme close up is boy crying. It's big close-up. And medium close-up is where two boys are sitting. Mm. See, this is close-up. Medium close-up is where this girl is thinking, is medium close-up. Close-up, where these two boys are there, big close-up, this uh, ball and extreme close-up, boy crying. So thank you for giving response uh, to it. Next slide. And here are some of the camera angles. So top angle, over the shoulder angle, POV angle, Dutch angle, and bird's eye view. So a uh, top angle is sometimes taken when you are uh, recording something like some uh, video lecture and you are showing something uh, on the board uh, which is kept in front of you while you are sitting. So the uh, what you are writing is captured from the top cameras. If you are doing some experiment or some activities, so the activities which we you are doing, the objects which you are handling for doing some experiment or activities are captured from the top angle. Camera is at the top and it is capturing what we you are uh, doing. So over the shoulder uh, shot, you can see here where the girl is uh, standing. So uh, that is it. Then uh, POV, point of view. So in the point of view angle, the uh, audience feel that they are part of that particular scene. So you can see here a car is moving and the road ahead uh, has been shown. So when such shots come in a movie or in any program and the car is moving very short, the audience also feel as if they are part of the scene. So such kind of camera angle where 
the bonnet of the moving car is shown is steering is shown a person is driving is shown and the road ahead is shown so we feel as if we are also in this scene we just feel feel ourselves self mobilized with the speed of the car sometimes then dutch angle where camera is tilted in the third image the dutch angle is shown where you want to uh, mm, capture the ex extreme experience on the face of the character. So here you can see uh, from uh, this image that the uh, expression on the face of the character are uh, captured very vividly. So such angle is called Dutch angle with a uh, tilted camera. Then birds eye view, sometimes these shots are taken from a drone and from the very uh, up, uh, a height we take these shots to catch the bird's eye view of a particular scenario. Next. So do's and don'ts of filming. We need to, uh, whenever we are shooting, we need to shoot in access so that uh, um, uh, <clears throat> Whenever we want a particular kind of footage, we uh, can have them from these talk shots that we have uh, uh, we, we have recorded. Uh, and also, uh, we need to take some still shots also. If some still shots are required, they can be used uh, later. Uh, then uh, while shooting, we should avoid excessive zooming. Uh, because sometimes when we do excessive zooming, it is jerky sometimes. So uh, uh, if we uh, we are using zoom, we must avoid jerkiness. Avoid fast panning of static views. If the views are static, there is no movement in the scene. So we should avoid panning the camera. Uh, if there is a movement we which we need to capture, then only we should pan. Uh, the camera or move the camera from one uh, angle to the another angle to capture the movement which is happening in the scene. Uh, okay, next slide. Yeah, now I will be showing you uh, the uh, a video program and a script based on it and also a storyboard so that you can relate uh, all uh, the uh, these three. मेरा 
जाए पल में काम मेरा हो जाए मेहनत भी मेरी बच जाए हाँ गोल 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 फिर उसने कुछ और भी आका लट्ठे को टुकड़ों में काटा एक धुरी से दो को बांधा एक धुरी से दो को बांधा धीरे धीरे किया सुधा हाँ यूं हो गया पहिया तैयार यूं हो गया पहिया तैयार यूं हो गया पहिया तैयार गोल 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 कहा ध्यान रहता है मैम का सो यहाँ आप देख सकते हैं इट इज रिटन बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक सिंबॉलिक टू स्पीड सो द ओपनिंग म्यूजिक वॉज सिंबॉलिक टू स्पीड यू माइट हैव नोटिस इट एंड विद द नोट्स ऑफ एंड देर वर सम नोट्स ऑफ म्यूजिक विच वर फ्लोटिंग आउट ऑफ अ फ्लूट एंड विद दिस कम्स द टाइटल इन्वेंशन ऑफ द wheel then you might have noticed close up of an uh, of the wheel of an aeroplane an aeroplane flying close up of the tire of car car running on road a child running on skates a man riding a bike round sun rising in the sky rotating earth uh, round words rolling in the in a cyclical manner then comes the lyrics once a human on a downhill saw a rolling log and what visuals were there in in the script you need to have two columns or three columns where you can write in the 
first column you can write the shots and in the second column you can write whatever audio is there and in the third column you can write the visuals which are there so here in this scripts you can notice the uh, audio associated to uh, the animation and also the visuals associated to the uh, animation once a human on a downhill saw a rolling rolling log so what was the visual along with these lyrics was prehistoric environment, a log, log rolling on a downhill and a prehistoric uh, human watching it with curiosity. Then a uh, roll, roll, roll uh, uh, lyrics were coming and various round shapes were coming along with these lyrics. Then a uh, roll, rolled and tumbled down uh, these lyrics comes so then again prehistoric environment a log coming rolling from a downhill and reaches a field it rolls it hits a tree and rolls further now it is speeds slows down after hitting the tree and it stops so were these visuals there in the video so all these visuals were there so like that the entire script is uh, written where lyrics and the related visuals are written in the second column. So like that we can uh, write the script with utmost clarity so that producer knows what you want as sound and what you want as visuals in the program so that they can shoot accordingly. Now let us watch the storyboard of this particular program and you, you, you can identify the different uh, type of uh, shots uh, which are used in the visual. So let us see the storyboard. So this is the shot by shot description of the animation that you have seen. The first shot was this where musical notes were floating out of a flute and the title comes uh, the invention of wheel or wheel. Then close up of the uh, wheel of an aeroplane comes on the screen. Then mid shot of an aeroplane is there. Then mid shot of uh, the wheel of a car. So here you can see POV angle also where a car uh, running uh, with utmost speed. You can see here. Then medium close up can be seen where a biker is uh, riding on a bike. Then you can see a long shot where the uh, um, spinning wheel was there. Here is also we can see a long shot where a human is watching the log from a distance. So here you can see extreme close up where uh, the uh, close up of the eyes of early human is shown. Next. Then you can see various other shots here, which were shown in the video. Next. So all uh, the other shots which you have seen in the video. So the later edition was when a child plays with the uh, by rolling the uh, tire of a cycle. So it was added later to relate all uh, the children with the video. So uh, because in the uh, previous part of the video, we uh, used urban centric visuals, mostly like boy running on skates, aeroplane, car, bike. But we ended the program with a rural centric uh, visual. So the uh, this suggestion came at the later part of it while discussing the script and story, uh, script of the program. So we added that at a later part. So the storyboard was developed earlier. So it was added later. Uh, so this is the storyboard. I think you might have got uh, an idea how script, uh, storyboard and a produced program is, are related with each other. <clears throat> so 
सो लेट अस नाउ वॉच अ सैंपल प्रोग्राम ब्रीफ वो तुम्हारा कर सर उसी पे था so this is uh, the uh, sample of a program brief where we can write title of the program subtitle series title if it's a series a uh, theme like the program brief which i am showing you it was uh, a poem on uh, the uh, importance of maps so the theme is mapping my neighborhood so a uh, context with distant lands maps essential components of maps distance directions and symbols where when and how so sub theme if any we need to write subject we need to write language we need to write duration of the program we need to write a pro approximate duration then classes for which the uh, program is meant age group target audience presentation format like it was song and recitation uh, i'm not talking about the video which i have shown but uh, the audio program on which these briefs are based then uh, discussion demonstration interview so these are various presentation formats so whatever presentation format we you uh, uh, you are using you need to see uh, from here and uh, pick it up from here and mention it like discussion demonstration interview drama role play documentary docu drama feature lecture vox populi storytelling cultural activities dance singing recitation model reading new media or multimedia content then we also need to write the objectives of the program so here you can see objective after listening to the song recitation the target audience will be able to explain how maps reflect the world we live in recognize the uses of maps in geography and history trigger special thinking to understand uses of map comprehend the phenomena related to time and space so uh the, the the program on which this these briefs uh, are written for mentions all these aspects uh, related to map learning then content coverage synopsis uh, details of the content so what content will be covered uh, can be written here the script covers the idea of uses of maps in geography and history to understand the world in time and space so this is the content coverage so if we need to write any production tips or treatment of the content we need to write that also in the briefs uh, so i have written here recitation in male voice with appropriate expression and sound effects a uh, song with appropriate music and sound effect for creating an ambience of time space and events mentioned in the script then references url from where related photographs animation etc can be uh, referred so we write to give here reference also if we want to uh, if we have identified some images in the creative commons site we can give a uh, url or references there so this uh, these are sample uh, program briefs let us now watch uh, Uh, the uh, a sample interactive content and the script on which uh, that interactive content is based so uh, uh video lecture baad mein dekhte hain classification third top se third wala jo hai so this is a drag and drop content please watch it <laughs> observe the fruit Can we put them in four groups on the basis of their color? Let us try and put them into four groups. Drag fruits to the basket to form the four groups.
observe the fruits. Can we put them in four baskets on the basis of their color? Let us try and put them into four groups. Drag fruits to the basket to form the four groups. So let us now watch the script of an interactive content. नहीं ये तो तुम वीडियो लेक्चर की ओपन कर दिए तुमने इसकी स्क्रिप्ट पूछ रही है मैं बताती हूँ ओपन करो ये ई कंटेंट इसके ऊपर वीडियो लेक्चर वाले के ऊपर वाली देखो हम्म एक बार ये देखो देखो नहीं नहीं वाली है या ये एक बार देख कोई बात नहीं लेट इट ओपन यही है तो यू कैन सी हियर दी स्क्रिप्ट ऑफ द इंटरक्टिव कॉन्टेंट दैट यू वॉस्ट द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक वॉज क्लासिफिकेशन and then description a medium math description may you can see fruits of different colors are displayed on the screen child has to classify the fruits on the basis of color or shape so we chosen to have color then english uh, the medium was english subject maths level 1 audience different stakeholders of education educational used to develop the understanding of the classification on the basis of color and it was an interactive drag and drop program source was it was self generated generated by ciet and crt then you can see the storyboard and objective to develop the understanding of classification so uh, we need to we can draw a crude picture of the concept that we are dealing with or uh, and graphic artists can also develop these images later on uh, to create this uh, interactive program so we also need to uh, give instruction for the uh, developer if the developer is different it if h5p developer is different if we are self developing then maybe we can we know what we want out of the uh, program so we wanted text and audio so we have um, you know, written uh, for inst as instruction that uh this audio should also come because we cannot expect a ch class 1 child to read long instructions so instructions were there in the audio as well observe the fruit can we put them in four baskets on the basis of their color let us try and put them into four groups drag fruits to the basket to form the four groups so this was the audio instruction then if the user drags fruits of one color in one basket then fruits of another color cannot be placed on the same basket that will bounce back or we can also write that fruit should stay but at the end of it we can get the feedback how many right and wrong we have done it is up to us how we uh visualize the program to be if we want a bounce back or if we want a feedback later but we need to write those instructions in the script or in the storyboard comes script so that is it so let us now also see the script of a video lecture so uh this is uh, the uh, script of a video lecture where uh, the, which is again in two columns in one audio is given and in the column two visuals are given so here uh, uh, to begin with we want a presenter who greets hello viewers today we will learn about the significance of the theme travel upar hi karo abhi
in elementary EVS curriculum and the suggestive pedagogical approaches to translate the theme. So like that presenter starts and on screen also the presenter is there because presenter need to be introduced to the audience at the first instance. But video uh, lecture should not be in a manner that all the prime presenter is there present on the screen and lecturing. It should be uh, uh, enriched with appropriate visuals. So only 20% percent, uh, percent presence of the presenter should be there. Rest of it should be supported with uh, other relevant visuals, uh, bullet points, and uh, other, other media inputs. So you can see on-screen captions in bullet point, which will come with the audio. Audio will also be there. And to recreate the point, the uh, bullet point should also come on the screen. That is how the script is written. So if we scroll down, so other aspects uh, of this script and the relevant visuals are indicated. Wherever presenter is required, presenter is written on the second column, wherever uh, uh, we need any bullet points or points, those points are written. Wherever we uh, want other forms of visuals, those visuals are written. So like that, we should prepare a script of a video lecture because uh, a lesson is not um, uh, just captured in one video program, a chapter. So a, a chapter can be uh, in uh, broken down into various parts and then maybe into four programs. So we should uh, start and end the script uh, in a manner where uh, the uh, it stops at the proper uh, place and the uh, next program begins in a sequential manner. So like that, a series of video programs can be made. So these are some uh, samples of uh, scripts which I wanted to show you so that you understand how to write scripts. So thank you very much. Here I end my... Uh, uh, discussion or presentation, you can ask questions if you have any questions. So all of you are requested to ask your queries through the chat box. You can write it in the chat box so that we can get the response from ma'am. So ma'am, there is a query. Yes, please tell me. Miss um, uh, Tolkar has asked, every time we, pre we prepare any content is it necessary to prepare a script uh, yes it is necessary to prepare a script until and unless we uh, prepare a script we cannot make sure that the program is produced in uh, the same manner as we visualize it so mentally we should know what we want uh, and until and unless we prepare a script we cannot uh, have a foolproof program with which is uh, just aligned to a particular script. So a script needs to be developed for each type of video program or each e-content. Like for infographics also, CIT may, um, my faculty only, uh, Dr. Uh, um, uh, Ms. Nidhi, Anna, and other 
consultants which are uh, there uh, with Diksha project, they made a lot of uh, infographics, then um, uh, uh, assessment uh, the sheets, worksheets, and a script for everything was made. And for animations also, you have already seen a script. So whatever we prepare, we prepare a script, a mental idea of that. And the uh, the, the infographic that you had uh, seen in the morning of the uh, family tree. So uh, a lot of discussion went into that also. So how to show all the relations. Then later on, we realized that we need at least three infographics to show all the uh, to cover most of the relations which uh, are there in the family so until and unless we have a script we cannot make a foolproof program is there any other query as i can see um that there are no more queries. If you still have any query, you can write it or we can proceed further. So if there are no questions, I can leave because there is a meeting going. To prepare e-content like videos.